Hey, how's it going guys and girls and welcome back to some more Mario vs Donkey Kong Tipping Stars of a Nintendo 3DS. Just to let you guys know, this is Nintendo's first cross buy game, which means if you purchase this on the 3DS, then you'll get a free download code for the Wii U version and vice versa. Now I did say to you guys I'll check out the Wii U version for you, just to kind of give you my comparison. The games are completely identical, they look the same, they play the same, they feel the same, so there's nothing different here. So I'll continue playing this on the 3DS here. Now, what is new to this game from the last episode is we actually beat the first world which is Rolling Hills. It was pretty simple, I guess it was more of just a tutorial based kind of world just to get you into the game. I didn't really want to rush you into things. And what it did for us, it actually unlocked this new bonus mode here which we'll quickly check out now. So we really don't know what to expect here, but what we can see is... Okay, so unlocking trophies does get you more unlocks and bonus levels. Now these are the ones we do have available to us at the moment. I'm not really sure if these are worlds or just individual levels. Okay. So it looks like these are individual levels. Okay, I didn't actually mean to start this. I was just going to show you then I was going to dive back into world 2. But I guess we'll do this now we're here. So if you guys don't know how this game plays, then once you tap on Mario, then it will automatically start to move. Donkey Kong really, is kind of our friend here, so we shouldn't really be scared of him. But we'll start by going down below. You should probably scan the whole area first before you get started. I'm going to do this the hard way and, and see how this goes. Alright, so I want to quickly build a bridge here. There we go. Oh wait, we don't want to take out Donkey Kong, do we? Maybe we do. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Okay, so if we did fall down there, we'll drop into the spikes and that would be bye-bye for us. But yeah, Donkey Kong's our friend, so he just kind of like launches you into the air here. And we want to start again. Now, it is key to, well it's not really key to collect everything, but it does actually better your score, so it's always worth doing so. Alright, we'll get rid of that one. Alright, where do we actually want to go from here? Okay, maybe we want to drop down, we don't really want to kill Peach just yet. And okay, where do we go? Okay, wait, how the hell do we just get, how do we end up here? Seriously, I'm, I'm losing track of what's going on at the moment. But yeah, um... Okay, we're in a little bit of a sticky situation here. Right, how are we going to do this? At least we can get this coin here. Wait, right, maybe we should have scanned the area before starting. And then obviously we can go up this warp pipe, which should lead us to some sort of safety, at least. Oh yeah, so it will drop us down to here. This level is actually so awkward, but it's a lot of fun. I guess that's why they're bonus levels. They're supposed to test you. Oh, uh, why do we go this way? Oh, quick, quick, quick! Phew! Alright, well, we didn't collect everything. We missed out on one coin, which isn't too bad for our first attempt. But at least we got the victory there, and I guess we can move on. And we saved every character. Not bad. Yeah, so... Before we... I did want to say earlier in this video that if you guys do want to see more of this game, then just please let me know down below, and be sure to give, that, give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help. And I guess I'm just looking for something new to play as I'm kind of approaching the end of uh, Pokemon Shuffle. So I'm always looking for something new to play. I guess it's probably the next best thing. <laughs> and there's another Nintendo game which is... I don't know, I've been playing a lot of Nintendo stuff recently. I usually have periods where I just don't play any Nintendo. Then when I come back to it, I just can't get off of it. That's just me. Anyway, we'll go back into the main game mode here. And we'll move on to the next world. I did actually go back to the first level just to get that gold trophy. So we're, we're, we're fully gold here with everything in Rolling Hills. It was, it was fairly simple, so it's not really an accomplishment. But we'll go on to Jumpy Jungle. All right, this one sounds super weird. Jumpy Jungle, okay, it's giving us a little first look of what to expect here. So it's introducing the springs to us. Pogos, springs, what would you want to call them? I guess we'll call them we springs for now. But yeah, they're gonna play a big part in this world, I believe. And what we actually noticed in World 1, they start to introduce like something new to us within each level. I'm not sure it's going to be the case here. I'm not really sure how much they can have to show us, but so far I'm really impressed with this game. And it's only a digital download, so you, no physical copy in store. You have to buy this off the eShop. Oh. Alright, here we go. As Mario says, tap to pick. Oh, you can see on the touch screen there, it's actually notifying us to tap on this little spring here. And then what you can do, you can actually place them across the map, but only in the highlighted spots. You can just about see it on the touch screen there. It's quite small. But it's noticeable, so I guess we'll get this started and see how this goes. Right, look, so you need to actually... Oh yeah, so we're only available to two different springs. So when you're done with one, it's probably best to tap on it and then... 
gain it back. So, so far so good. We've got the coin. Get that out of the way quickly. And then we want to make this gap here. We should be able to make this one. I hope so. There we go. So we're 100% on everything there. I think this one's going to be a gold, guys. And both Marios are safe and sound. Wow. Slightly difficult when you compare it to the first world. But still, not really much of a challenge yet. But I do hear this game does get really, really tough later on. Maybe around world 5-ish. 4-ish, 5-ish. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. But then again, I'm not really sure how much of this of this game I'm going to upload. I guess it's down to you guys. Oh god, we got the bridges back. Now we've got the bridges and the springs, so... Wow. We have to be twice as quick with our thinking here. So we'll quickly scan the area before we do get started. Now we've got Peach alongside us. Peach doesn't have a home of her own to go into, so I guess we could take her to the Mario Gate as well. And this one actually looks pretty weird, because how do we get across here? So no bridges can be built yet, so I guess we'll get rid of that one. I'm just curious to see how this works. They've got these little blue barricades here. No idea how you get rid of those, but I guess we'll start by... Honestly, I... Oh, okay, okay, we see the blue switches there. I was kind of going blind for a second. So once we step on that blue switch, it should open up a new path for us here. And then... Do you know what? This is actually, this is actually pretty tough to work out, but I guess we'll just get to it. You just got to be quick about our thinking as we progress all right there we go and that should open up a path for us and yes it does we'll get rid of this little spring we'll pop up to here all right sweet at one point we do want to be careful of okay maybe we should have actually jumped up there i guess we'll go up on the way back all right cool so far so good now i'm going to quickly get rid of that we'll build a bridge here Alright, fairly simple, now we can just pop over to the other side. Oh yes, done. We're done, guys. Step on the switch, bounce on the next spring, through the gate, and onto the third level of the second world. So really cool, I do actually like this one. This is a pretty cool level. But wow, I've got a bad feeling about some of these next levels here. That was actually, it did have us thinking at first. I guess it's easier once it's, uh... Like, once the game's flowing. When you just look at it from from a standpoint but it's kind of difficult to actually figure out what to do next it's easier once the game's flowing but yes moving on okay now we've got Peach down on the bottom left hand side we've got Mario on the top right of the touch screen now we do have to trigger him both at the same time but we do need to get him through the gate at the same time so we'll start by oh uh, yes and we also have enemies here now I'm not sure if you can actually drop down onto the Shy Guy's head like in your typical Mario game, so we may actually have to use a hammer for that. So I guess we'll start by... Okay, we'll quickly open this path for Peach. We've got the ladder there. Alright guys, I'm going to start by using... How shall we start? Uh, I'm really unsure. Okay, I'm going to start by... Using Peach here. Now I really hope this works. My plan is for, if she can take this hammer up the ladder, then we're good. Yes, yeah, she can. Oh, shoot. Oh, she caught it. She caught it. We're good. We're still good, guys. Now, she should drop down here. We better be able to bridge for her before it's too late. And yeah, I think we are safe. Now, we just got to get Mario rolling. So, Mario, you're going to have to start from down below. And Peach, I really don't want you moving just yet. Damn it. Okay, this is where I kind of froze for a second. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Alright, my bad. I know what to do here, I'm just kind of figuring out how shall we get both of them to safety. Alright, we should be good here, we should be good. Now, 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 it does give you like a little time limit to get Mario through, and we should just about make it. Hopefully, we do make it. And yes, we do. I made, I made kind of hard work of that, but at least we got there in the end. That may actually affect my score because the longer you do take, then um, the worse it scores you. And yes, we got a bronze, so a little bit disappointing. But I can always go back to that one. But at least we did pass the level, and we can move on to the next. 
So this game is quite different to other Mario vs Donkey Kong games. I've only played, uh, was it Marching Minis? It was on the Nintendo Nintendo DS. I think it was. There was one on the Game Boy Advance. There was one on the DS, and I'm not sure how many there were in total, but I can only think of the three, this being the third one. But yeah, Marching Minis was a really fun game. I remember you could freely uh, move your character around, and then there was like no touchscreen elements, of course. But this one, this one is really fun. I'm really enjoying this one. And it, it did score some decent reviews, and everyone I've spoke to who have played this game have really enjoyed it so far, so I'm glad to see this game's getting good feedback. But yes, moving on. Now the good thing is, okay, okay, so it looks like we've got a little house for Peach now. Now I'm not really sure if you have to get them both in at the same time when, when they have separate gates, but I guess we'll try and do that anyway. So we'll start by, obviously we've got to start with Mario here. And we've got pink, we've got pink springs this time round, just to fit, just to make Peach happy. So let's see what we got here. Alright, but, oh no, I don't want to do that. Alright, drop down, drop down Mario. Alright, okay, I'm going to quickly get rid of that. I'm going to grab this coin first. I'm going to try and get everything 100% as we go along. Now we'll rebuild that bridge. Get rid of this pogo, put one up here. Oh god. Alright, never mind, never mind. Okay, we're doing, we're doing well. So far, so good. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. I think we've got this one sorted. What I am concerned about at the moment is... Oh, there we go. Alright, got it figured. I almost thought you can do like these diagonal lines. Oh, but I did forget to save Peach there. Oh, shoot. My bad, my bad. Alright, guys, my bad. I completely lost focus for a second. But we should be good from here. Obviously, we need to build this diagonal bridge. We need to put a spring here for Peachy. And then we sh she should get home safely and sound. And there we go. So, yeah, a lot more simple the second time around. But damn, how could I actually miss that? We killed Peach. I love Peach. Anyway, at least we completed it this time around. We should get a gold for our efforts here. I hope so, anyway. And yes, we do. So, if you guys are playing this, then to see if you can actually beat my score. You probably will be able to, in all honesty. But I'm going to try and better than myself. Okay, so what do we have here? Donkey Kong's back at least. I'm not, I'm not sure if he's the bad guy in this game. I know in the levels he assists us, but then at the start of the game he actually kidnaps. Um, he kidnaps someone. I can't remember who it was now, but... I don't know, he's a good guy. I like him deep down. Now, we probably will have to kill this Donkey Kong, or at least harm him in some way with the hammer. I'm not really sure why we need to do that, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a purpose to it. So we'll start things by... Hmm, how shall we start things? I guess the best thing to do is to probably start from here. Right, I guess we'll see how this goes and then we'll, we'll just take it from there. Now obviously we want to get this Mario coin. And I don't think there's any way of doing so. Well not yet anyway. Hmm. Alright, bear with me guys, this can be a little tricky. Oh yeah, so it actually does have a purpose, we need to take down this Donkey Kong. And then from here we should have to spring up twice and grab the coin. And then from there we've collected pretty much everything so we can just go to the goal and uh, wrap this thing up. Alright, put us down now. Oh yeah, cool, so I think that's it for getting to the goal. So we'll take the hammer, we'll take out Donkey Kong, and then both go through the gate at pretty much the same time. So yeah, pretty complex, but we got there in the end. And there we go. And one thing I am wondering, if you like, keep aside like some bridges and springs, does that actually better your score? I'm not really sure how it works, but I guess I'll look that one up for myself. We got a silver, we got a, a silver, we got a silver, we got a silver. Alright, still better than bronze. I'm going to have to go back into some of these because I want to get gold on every single level possible. But we'll make this the last one, guys. Hopefully you are enjoying at the moment. And as I said before, be sure to give a thumbs up if you are. And looks like they're introducing us to something new here, which is some sort of cannon? A bullet bill cannon? Or maybe a cannon for us to jump into? I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a moment. Okay, we've got two of them, actually. Hmm. Do not like the look of this one. Okay. 
Okay. And we've got to get them all inside the Mario gate at the top, so... I guess we'll begin. Tap to fire. Alright, where do we want to fire you, Mario? I guess we'll go up here. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. There we go. Thank goodness for that spring. Alright, Peaches, it's your turn to move. Now, when we get Mario inside that cannon, we're going to leave him there. I'm not really sure how long we can leave him in there for, but if we can do it for as long as we please, then that should be good. Oh, my bad, my bad. At least we're all together now. So what we want to do from here is put the spring here. Ah, yes, there we go. And once we're all up there, we'll take away the spring. Actually, we don't need to take away the spring, but we'll do it anyway. And yeah, pretty cool. I actually really enjoyed this level. It looks a lot more harder than it actually was, but we got there in the end. Now, the thing I was wondering, yes, we can get multiple characters inside the cannon, which would get us to the goal safe and sound once again. And there we go. Really cool. Damn, I did a lot better on that one than I expected. Probably wasted a few seconds there, but it shouldn't really count for much, and it doesn't. 15,060 for our score here, not bad at all. Remember guys, try and beat my score if you are playing this game also. And that is going to be everything for now. We made it to level... Where did we make it to? We made it to level 2-7 of Jumpy Jungles. If you guys do want to see more, this is where we'll continue and maybe attempt a few more of those bonus levels. So until next time guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. I really did hope you enjoyed this video, and I guess I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.